Hello, it is Thursday, August 4th. We've returned to dry weather here in Seoul, even if the humidity goes on. I'm Alex Jensen, and these are your latest daily headlines. South Korea's first lunar orbiter is set to be sent into space later from Cape Canaveral in the US. The Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter, also known as Danuri, will be launched aboard the SpaceX Falcon 9 shortly after 8 a.m. Friday, according to officials here. The Danuri will begin circling around the moon at the end of December. Its year-long observation mission includes a goal to identify potential landing sites for a lunar landing module that South Korea aims to send to the moon within the next decade. Back in June, we also saw this country successfully launch its first homegrown space rocket, the Nuri. A new law boosting the semiconductor industry, along with other advanced technologies, has come into effect Thursday. The act paves the way for the designation of specialized complexes, infrastructure support and deregulation, while the government will also foster expertise through university programs and scholarships. A new committee under the Prime Minister will begin related consultations before holding a first meeting next month or in October. North Korea has agreed to promote economic cooperation with Syria after a meeting this week between Pyongyang's top diplomat in Damascus, Kim Hye-ryong, and Syrian Minister of Industry, Ziad Sabah. The North's relations with Syria have long raised global concerns. In 2018, a United Nations report claimed that North Korea had been supporting Syria's production of chemical weapons. Also in that year, North Korean state media reported that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad was planning to make a state visit to the North. According to Syrian state media, Chargé d'Affaires Kim Hye-ryong is now urging both sides to fight in the face of global sanctions, identifying several industries as areas of cooperation and seeking to revive previous agreements that were suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, that wraps up your latest daily headlines. You have got that link on your screen, though, if you want to find more career-related news and breaking news as well as it happens. And subscribe to Korea Now so you can check out all of our contents as soon as they're published.